Hello there and welcome to my channel, The Moto Girl Budgets. And today we're going to be stuffing the last check for 2022. I cannot believe it that this year has flown by so quick. I feel like yesterday the pandemic just started and everything was just going crazy and here we are going into 2023 already. So I'm pretty excited and I'm excited for my budgeting journey and I hope that you guys are also starting your own budgeting journey that way you can you know get your finances and stuff in order because to be honest I used to be pretty stressed out about this kind of stuff but I think I've kind of made it a little fun by getting binders and things like that to kind of keep everything organized and I've been able to keep a, a way better hold on my finances so Today we're going to be stuffing $300. Now, my rent and main bills have already been taken out, my 401k, my insurance. So this is what I'm left over after all my bills are pretty much paid. And so we're going to go ahead and stuff my binders. Let's go ahead and get started. We have 20, 40, 60, 80, 1. 20, 40, 60, 80, 200. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 67, 98, 99, 300. This is definitely not the denominations I wanted. Actually, all of these were 20s. And so before the video, I kind of went through my binder and kind of broke down my 20s where I could. I'm thinking of swapping banks because we're currently banked. There's only one teller always working and it's not very convenient because there's always a line. And then not even that. The drive through is nothing but ATMs and the only denomination it gives are 20s and so that doesn't really help me out. So I did break some of these down in my binders and I'm trying not to be that customer but I came in and I was just like super frustrated because I had a business person come in front of me and so they're you know giving probably their, their petty cash, their tips and things like that and so it was going to be a while and there's always only one teller. so. I might swap to a different bank that's a little bit more convenient for me that has a drive through and I don't have to worry about getting off of my motorcycle and going inside or the ATM only giving me 20s. So I'll look into that, but we're going to work with what we got. I'm probably going to have to break these down a little bit more as I stuff. Let's go ahead and put these in here. I call that my little turntable. I like this thing so far. It's a little weird, but... I like it. Fives and last but not least, ones. Okay, so that's $300. And then I went ahead and already pulled the coin from my wallet. Of course, this is gonna go into my little house. Got quarters, nickels, got some dimes. I got a lot of pennies this time. Lots of pennies from the self-checkout. Goodness, there's a lot of pennies. I wonder what I'm gonna fill up first. Right now it's between quarters and pennies. So, I don't know what you guys think. I have a feeling it's probably gonna be pennies. I feel like I get so many pennies. All right, and then of course for my wallet, I have my groceries, Starbucks, dining out and giving. I did go out to eat and things like that a lot more this past week, so all out of there. I have actually $20 left for groceries, nothing for Starbucks, nothing for dining out. And giving, I have $2. Put these to the side right here. Okay, so this is extra cash that's gonna go into my unspent envelope. We're gonna put that to the side for now. And we're gonna go ahead and jump into my cash breakdown for binders. That's $300. And the first category here is my wallet. So for wallet, groceries is getting $30, 20, 30. These little slips are going strong. I still like them quite a bit, actually, considering I have such a tiny wallet. It works great. 
And groceries, $30. Starbucks is getting 10. Let's go ahead and just do a $10. Hmm. Let's do a five, uh, two fives. Starbucks gets $10. Dine Out gets $20. For Dine Out, I'm doing $20 because sometimes I like to pay for whoever I'm with and $10 was just not cutting it. Food is just so expensive. I don't want to make a bad habit of eating out, but I at least want to make sure I have a backup there in case. Giving gets $5. We have one, two, three, four, five. So happy I had ones for this. Okay. All right, so that is it for my wallet. So we're gonna cross out or check off the wallet section. Next is gonna be my purple binder. And for those of you that don't know what the sheet is, if you check out my last, one of my last videos, I actually show you guys how I made this and why I made this and how I break everything down in my binders. This is pretty much each binder, like the purple binder, what envelopes are in it, and then how much each envelope is gonna get. That way I can kind of stay more organized and I know how much I'm working with. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with the purple binder first. And starting off with personal, which has nothing in it right now. And personal is going to get $10. Now, if you guys want me to count out everything that I'm putting in here, like take out all the cash, count it in front of you, and include whatever I'm adding to it, let me know. But for now, I'm gonna just kind of bypass that unless you guys want me to do that. Gas is getting $10. So I have a 10 in here. I'm gonna put that in here and take a 20. Because it's getting $10. Fun is getting $10. Is there anything I could break down in here? I'm just gonna put 10. Sports is getting $5. We're gonna go ahead and take a $10 bill. Put that in sports, hobbies, gets five dollars, five, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, so I can actually put these in here, and since we're adding just five, I'm going to put a twenty dollar bill in hobbies. Tithing gets $20. Household gets $5. Let's see if there's anything I can take out. There is actually nothing in there. So $5. Okay. So there is nothing left in restaurants, which is a dine out envelope or slip that I have in my wallet. So we're going to skip that. And there's actually nothing in here right now. Bonus savings is going to get at least $22 here. This is like leftover money that was in groceries that I can pretty much add in here for later. One, two, three, four, five. Let's Nice, so that's adding up. I still haven't decided what I want to do with this just yet, so I'm just going to let it continue building until I decide what I want to do with that. So that is it for the purple binder. Next, we're going to go into the pink binder. The pink binder has mortgage, which is getting 20.
nothing I can break down in here yet. I'll probably get larger bills very soon because I think some of these are getting past 100. <clears throat> Except for emergency. I did pull out of emergency, which I have money coming back into it soon. Probably the first week of January, but right now it doesn't have anything in it. So emergency is only going to get 20 right now. I need to stop diving into that envelope. Rent is going to get a $10 bill. <clears throat> Car payment is going to get $10 as well. Ooh, I could put the 10 in here and take a 20. Because we're adding 10. I really wish our ATM gave out smaller bills, like tens at least. It'd be so nice. Maintenance is getting 20. I don't think there's anything I can break down in here. So it's just gonna get a full 20. See, this one is, this envelope's kinda getting a little fat. I need to see it to where it's actually popping off. I need to change out those 20s for hundreds. Next is debt. So debt is going to get $10, which I have a 10, so we're going to swap that out and put a 20. Next is travel. Travel is only going to get $5. I'm slowly building this because I don't know what I want to do just yet. So I have one, two, three, four, five. Don't know where I want to go, how much PTO I'm going to need off from work. So that's just going to be building for quite some time until I decide what I want to do with that. Beauty is getting 20. I have 10, 15, 20 added in. Cell phone is getting five. Put a five in there. Actually, you know what? Let's take out these two fives. Let's just put a 10 in there. I have ten dollars because I added five, and there was already another five in there. <clears throat> School is getting twenty, so I need ten, fifteen, twenty, ten, fifteen, twenty. That is it for my pink binder. And next is my blue binder. <clears throat> Which I have a $20 challenge, so let's see if I can take a 20 actually out of one of these. I did not think about that. Okay, this one might have a 20 in it. Let me just, yes, it does. Five, 10, 15. 20, 5, 10, 15, 20. So I just took a $20 bill out of here just to put some fives in replacement of that. Next time I'll try to have all the denominations I need because I hate doing this this way. But $20 goes into the $20 challenge, which has actually been adding up. Like, look at that. I count this one 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 120. Nice. Still have not decided what I want to do with the $20 challenge just yet. So, birthday, Christmas, medical are not getting money, but Jim is going to get $10. I've definitely been working on working out. 
two, three, four, five, ten. So I want to make sure I'm putting money aside for pre-workout or protein gym stuff. So that's added in there. And that is actually all that I'm stuffing today. This check wasn't very large. I had a lot more bills to pay. And I think my next paycheck isn't going to be very large either. However, I do have some money coming in and I'm super excited because I'm going to be stuffing around $2,200. So once I get that money, it should be here the beginning of January. We'll go ahead and stuff that and actually count what's inside of each envelope. That way we can kind of start off January super fresh, know what we're kind of working with. That way we can compare it to the end of the year. But alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching this stuffing video. I know that it was probably a little quicker than my other videos. Um, but again, this is the last paycheck of 2022 and I'm super excited to go into 2023 with you guys. Let me know what your budgeting goals are or your financial goals or what your goals are in general for 2023. I think that it's going to be an amazing year. I'm praying that it's going to be an amazing year. And um, I mean, I'm starting early. I'm having a shake right now or a smoothie. Uh, trying to gain a little bit of weight and been lifting weights. So, so my goal is to actually gain like another 10 pounds um, and kind of get my fitness on track along with my finances. Um, and I also have school, so I'm trying to ace my classes, but I'm definitely jumping into 2023 straight in and saying, you know what? I got this. I'm not going to doubt myself and just stay on track. Anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye.